Welcome to the Messy Workbench and in this video I'm going to be setting this up for the caravan. Now I can't actually install this properly in the caravan because there isn't any any way to get the cabling there uh, effectively without surface mount or anything like that. I don't want this to be permanent, I want this to be temporary. I want to be able to take this out of the caravan, so unplug it, take it out of the caravan and then we use the standalone sensor when we're taking the caravan out on holidays and stuff like that. This will get hung up on the wall in the caravan, plugged in, and this will pair with the radio link panel interface in the cupboard. So when so when the caravan's at home it's protected under the entire fire alarm system. So if there's any incidents in the caravan we know about it. Because uh, we had a little incident in the caravan uh, a few months ago where the consumer unit caught fire the 12 volt portion of it uh, had a fault in it and the consumer unit literally burst into flames here's a picture of the consumer unit after it was torn out and replaced and uh, obviously here's the uh, newly installed consumer unit after the insurance um, replaced that for us anyway so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to mount it to some some sort of base, like platform. Um, I have uh, some composite decking. It's a piece of composite decking. Here we go. This is hollowed out so I can actually use this for cable, to run cable in. The issue is strain relief on this connection. This is not designed for flex. This is not designed to be portable. So there's no strain relief on it. You're literally tugging on the connections at the terminal block. If you're putting a piece of flex in there and just having it dingle out there, also you've got single insulated um, co uh, conduct uh, cores sh uh, showing I should say single insulated conductors anyway. um, which is not not great you want it to have at least two layers of insulation so I'm gonna drill a hole in that decking feed the cable through put it into there mount this to the piece of decking and find some sort of way to just strain relief this cable a little bit just so it's not gonna just pull out and uh, cause uh, you know safety issues so pop this open have a look inside so as you see we've got an earth terminal neutral interconnect in line or live interconnects not gonna get used we don't need that so we're just gonna connect to neutral live and earth well this earth isn't doing anything it's literally just a just a termination block just to put the wire somewhere um, so yeah let's get on to it let's have a little look see how well that aligns up with uh, this channel here I think we'll use a channel in the middle I don't know if I want to take the cable at the top or the bottom as you can see this is hollow this composite plastic decking stuff cuts really easy I tell you I um. I just cut this off before the video and this just cuts like bar. It's easier to cut than proper timber decking. So I'm just going to mount that roughly there in the middle. I'm going to have to drill this out and put some roll plugs in here because this decking's a little bit weird when you try and screw into it. As you can see there's a screw hole here. I use this for something else and screwing into it can be a little bit of a, a pain. So what I am going to do is just drill drill out a hole, put a roll plug in and then mount this to it that way. Just to get better just to get better fixing on it. Five mil drill. We'll uh, drill the eight mil hole as well for the cable. Through, which is what we want. Let's get that. Let's get that on there. 
I don't want this one to go through. Okay, so I've got this, uh, this yellow cable here. Let's see, is that going to fit in that hole? Oh yes, look at that. So just follow that channel down there and mark it about there. I'm just gonna thread this cable from one hole and hopefully get it through the other. It's gonna be a bit tricky. Here we go. Got it out. And that's some there's good strain relief on that as it stands. So I'm gonna restrip the end because it's a little bit chewed up. Yeah, there's better ways of doing it. I'm just going to score this because this stuff snaps. Careful, if you go too deep, you hit the, hit the inner insulation. You don't want to do that. Just check that, make sure it's intact, no nicks on there. Yes, we're good. Let's strip it. Strain relief on that. Does that mount on there correctly? Sure, sure does. They're nice and secure. Right. Okay, let's now switch the blades out on this to that. backed out already? Yes they are. Good. So I can now get that in there. Grab that. Shove it in. Just tighten down the interconnect screw as well because we're not using it. Because we're using the radio link. Okay, let's just double check. Good. Nice and tight. Okay, so I've got my galvanized band here. There's a sharp edge and a not sharp edge, so that there's a soft edge. And that there's the sharp edge. Um, I could, I could put this in heat shrink. I've got some heat shrink, so let's shrink that in there. And for that, just make sure it doesn't start eating into the cable. So let's turn on the hot air station. Mm -hmm. 
shrink that down. Oh, that's hot. Ow. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yeah, it burns a little bit. Just have to fit the plug. All right, it's time for the smoke test. So I'm going to go plug this in and uh, see if it goes bang. Be interesting if it goes bang. It shouldn't go bang. Oh, what the radio links? Uh, the radio link flashed there when I turned the mains on. So do it again. There we go. It's probably charging the internal batteries inside here. Put that on, see what it does. Obviously, we'll turn the power off first. There we go. Sensors on. And there we go. Mains power. It's working just fine. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, all I have to do is pair it with the panel interface module and uh, mount it in the caravan. In fact, I, I do need to add a little strap on here, but we'll, uh, we'll just, that'll just appear through the magic of video editing anyway. And uh, since it's quite late tonight, I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to install this and we'll, we'll test it. Okay, I'm gonna pair the Radio link base of this sensor here to the panel interface module. So I'm just going to stick my screwdriver into the house code slot here, which uh, pushes a button inside. If I just push that in there, the blue light should come on. Just hold it down until it flashes. There we go. And I hold this down.
So it flashes. And these should pair. Okay, I might need to do that one again. Stuff that in there. Okay, let's give everyone the warning. Okay, so let's test this out, just here. That works fine. So I'm going to take the smoke detector out to the caravan and we'll test it again just to make sure it's all functioning correctly. Okay, I found a, a location for this. So it's just going to hang up there. Here's what we'll take with us when we when we go out. That just uh, that just usually goes up there, but I think the thing that screw just needs tightened a little bit because this keeps falling off, as you can see. But this works fine. As you can see. So we'll activate this one again. I don't think we've got power in the caravan. I think we're running on battery at the moment. It's plugged in there so when the power does come back. Um, I don't know. I think everyone's just a little bit a little bit scared to turn the power back on after the last incident. This was the box here that caught fire. So all this here caught fire. The mains the mains part was fine. It was just the the 12 volt section here which which caught fire unfortunately so yeah that's a bit of shit but we'll uh, test it again just to make sure that it's got signal into the house so here we go don't hear it There we go. So that's working. I just need to, uh, I just need to get the power back on in the caravan so that's uh, kept topped up. So that's the little portable ACO uh, optical smoke sensor with radio link base um, pairing with the panel interface module and testing. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's reset that now. There we go.